Good morning, this is Peter Booker, and today I want to give the forecast for Lynchburg, Virginia, on March the 7th, 2018. We have a few passing showers moving through the region this morning, and this will give way to clearing conditions this afternoon. In fact, we'll have highs in the lower 50s by 4 p.m. Now, as you head further to the north, you'll see a major winter storm taking place over eastern portions of Pennsylvania into New York. Anywhere from a foot to as much as two feet of snowfall could occur there. We'll get to that in a moment as well as talk about uh, nor'easters and how they actually form. Now currently in Lynchburg we have a temperature of 34 degrees. Our dew point is 33. This makes for a relative humidity of 17 percent. The winds are out of the northeast at 6 miles per hour and the barometer is showing 29.70 inches and falling. So what is a nor'easter? Now nor'easters typically form over, let's say, the Mid-Atlantic, and they move north and eastward over New England as well as eastern portions of Canada. Now, they get their name because of the strong northeastward wind or winds out of the northeast that are generated by the storm. Um, they also form because of cold fronts that move through the southeast during the winter months. Now, low pressure will typically form off the coast of North Carolina. Uh, during this time, and it will run into the Gulf Stream. The Gulf Stream provides for warm, moist air that tends to strengthen these storms very quickly. And they tend to, as they use the terminology today, um, explode. And uh, this is that bombogenesis name that they provide these systems. Now, low pressure provides for counterclockwise flow. And what that means is that warm, moist air from the Atlantic could then move, let's say, westward into the northeast as well as the mid-Atlantic. This can provide the scenario for heavy snowfall during the winter months. Now look at the radar this morning. We can see rain as well as snow showers over West Virginia. And we can see heavier snowfall forming over New Jersey as well as New York. Look at the forecast high temperatures for today. We can see highs in the mid-50s over central Virginia and highs reaching only the 30s over eastern Pennsylvania as well as the rest of New England. Now this will provide that scenario for heavy snowfall later today. Now as we head westward into, let's say, um, the Dakotas and Minnesota, the coldest temperatures can be found here with highs in the mid-20s. Look at the forecast map for 7 a.m. this morning. We can see mixed precipitation over northern Virginia as well as Maryland. Heavy snowfall extending from Pennsylvania into New York at this time. Now this heavy snowfall will continue into this evening as well as tonight. We can see this continuing over New York State as well as the rest of New England. What's interesting is that warm air will likely move into Boston preventing heavy snowfall totals from occurring here. Now I want to show upstate New York in particular because they could receive the heaviest snowfall from the system. Um, Albany and the Capital District anywhere from 15 to 16 inches of snow. As you head westward into the Catskills anywhere from 18 to 20 inches of snowfall. The heaviest amount being near Hunter. And then as you head eastward into let's say the Berkshires of Massachusetts anywhere from 18 to 20 inches of snowfall as well could occur here. Look at the three-day forecast for Central Virginia on Wednesday. We'll have a high of 52 and a low of 29. Again, chance of showers in the morning. As we end to Thursday, mostly sunny conditions can be expected with a high of 46 and a low of 25. Much the same for Friday. We'll have a high of 48 and a low of 30 under sunny skies. Looking ahead to this weekend, especially for Sunday, there is the potential for a major winter storm over Central Virginia. Anywhere from six inches or more could possibly fall if things line up perfectly. Now we'll have a better idea over the next couple of days, so please stay tuned for that. Otherwise, have a great Wednesday.